How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting. Welcome back to Yakuza Zero, where we're here with Majima, and we got Mr. I Hate My Life. Well, not really. I more like I Hate My Shoes. So he's got another issue we're going to deal with with him. And then we're also going to be trying to head back to talk to Makoto to see what the fetch is going on. But I'm glad to be back. I'm feeling a lot better. Like, every day I'm improving. Yesterday I recorded Mother Love episode that came out on Monday, and I was feeling pretty good, still pretty snuffly. Tonight I'm feeling marginally better still getting a little stuffed up but i'm not feeling as congested in the sense of like it doesn't sound come through and i'm not coughing nearly as often so hopefully that means that we're pretty much right back on schedule again so i'm gonna give this a shot see how we do but regardless of that we're just gonna see what happens so i'll do some side quests run around maybe get beaten up by the mr beatdown again i did win the second time through exorbitant weapon use i need to fix that i also need to see if i can repair my weapons because i definitely burn through a few of them so I'm probably gonna head after I finish this side quest I'm gonna head to the, the dragon and tiger and go see if I can repair some stuff I haven't been there in a while actually I, I can't believe I haven't gone back all right well we'll get to it anyway let's see what's going down here come here you hey that Erdenkun looks like his feet are killing him again all right what's he do this time <laughs> oh, well well not really screwed what? hey what's wrong oh hello <sighs> it's my feet are killing me Again, I think I can walk again after a rest a while, but can't say I didn't warn you, right? Hey. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're running errands again. Yes, I am. I have to deliver this ab absorbent sheet in a hurry. Absorbent sheet? That's not like a, not like a weird way to refer to like, um, what do you, like, hygiene products, like women's hygiene products, is it? <sighs> What am I gonna do? You gotta make your injuries worse, didn't you? If you explain why you're late, she'll understand, won't she? But she said that she has plans. If I don't get it to her in a hurry, I might miss her. I see. Uh, maybe if you have time, do you think you could deliver this ab absorbent sheet to her? What? I gotta run an errand now so she can wipe her face? I'm sorry. Okay, so it's just tissues or, or like, a, like a hand cloth. I'm sorry, it's too much to ask. The idea of me running an errand flat out nuts, but I like to peek at a girl who's making him do all this. She must be some kind, some kind of special. She's gonna run errand kid into the ground at this rate. Maybe I can set her straight. Let's do it. We gotta <sighs> save this guy. We, we bought him shoes. We're invested now. All right, all right, fine. I'll be your delivery boy. Huh? You will? Uh. Sure. So, where's your sweetheart at? Thank you so much. She's waiting on the footpath along the river on the uh, Sultan Bordy Street side. Got it. The river footpath and the Sultan Bari street side. You're, the rest is up to you. Uh, you rest up till you get enough to walk. Hi. I will. Thank you. Here's her ab absorbent sheet. Got an absorbent sheet. How many times are you going to say absorbent sheet? Please, get it to her as soon as possible. Uh. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> hmm. Aaron Coon's Aaron boy now. It's like, he's outsourcing. All right, so... Shofukoju and Sultan Bari. So, yeah, so she's around here. I'll probably right there. All right, let's do this. Oops, I walked past it. Got distracted in my own thoughts. Ah, ah, ah. What's up, boyos? Hope you're doing okay. One of the things that, like, my, I, one, okay, one of the signs, like, I'm gonna brag a bit. I married a great person. Do you know with my free with her free time, my wife actually goes. She likes to ride her bike. She likes to go out and kind of explore town on her bike. One of the things she loves to do is like, hang on, just calm down, Majima. Just want to brag about my wife for a second. She takes the time while she's riding her bike to go and buy um, non-perishable foods, water um, when it gets cold, blankets and gloves, because she often rides on the bike path that goes past places where some of the homeless like can uh, gather because it's a place where they can be safe, right? She'll go and give them supplies as part of her, like, exercise that she goes out to ride. Like, she doesn't do it every day. Um, it's, it's something that she only can find time for occasionally. But when she does, she, she, she's like, well, I, I, can't, I don't want to just pass them. I don't want to just, you know, like, pretend they're not there. So she tries to put stuff in her bag or, like, say we've got, like, granola bars that uh, we just aren't going through fast enough. And, you know, they're, they're, we're worried they might go bad or something. She's like, well, I'll take them to someone who will appreciate them, you know? Like, maybe we, we shouldn't buy this brand anymore, but, like, we'll still, like, pass it forward to see if anyone else wants it. You know, she's not hoisting it or just dumping garbage on them. It's like, this is good stuff. And 
We just don't want it to go to waste. And she just goes out of her way to do that. She's amazing. Because she doesn't... She never was motivated to do this. There was no, like, push or social pressure. Like, hey, you should feel bad. Do yourself for the homeless. It was more of, like, they're human beings. And they're going through something really terrible. I want to help them. She's awesome. So, like, every time we've been running around down here, like, they've casually thrown in, because it's absolutely real, just people who are either bumming or most likely homeless. And, like, Majima's not in a great spot right now. But, you know, he probably could do something for him. But maybe it's a game. Like, it, it, we don't want to make things too real, realistic and harsh, but it's just food for thought. All right. Uh. Where's Enenkun? I told him I needed that absorbent sheet, like, now. Boy. Sorry to keep you waiting. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? And who are you? Enenkun hurt his foot, and he can't run on it. So he begged me to get this to you. He handed over the absorbent sheet. Is that right? Well, whatever works. Thanks. <sighs> hey, how about a little concern for the guy? Doesn't bother you that he's in pain? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yo, Emmy. What's with- Yo, Emmy! What's with the hold up? Oh, oh Tomokun. Sorry, Aaron Kun was kind of slow today. But this man here brought what we needed, so we're good. <sighs> nice, man. I was getting real sweaty, too. Oh my gosh. Aaron boy is Aaron for the girl who's an Aaron girl for this guy. <laughs> Anything for you, Tomokun. You better whip that Aaron Kun into shape, though. Gotta give him some tough love if he's still never so he's never late again. Mm. No problem. He's not an employee! What? Hey, what this crap? Mm? Excuse me. Wasn't it you who requested that? Aaron Kun thought he was doing it for you, so he'd busted his butt to get it. Huh. Doesn't matter. What Tomokun wants, I want too. We're totally going steady now. <laughs> yeah, Aaron Coon's usually good at his job. Quick, courteous, and free. Of course, he doesn't know we're an item now. These buttholes. Yeah, they don't give a rat's butt about Aaron Coon. Doesn't the movie start soon, Tomokun? We better go. Oh. Yeah, come on, babe. I, I want to punch him in his Swede jacket. Like, what, what's, what's that pattern called? It's like something sweater, like... I don't know, whatever it is. I just, it's gross. Hey, before you go, I'm gonna need you to make a quick promise. Hmm? I don't know you crap, man. What do you want? And Coon's running his last errand for you. This stops now. You already got plenty out of him. Now let him go and stop toying with his feelings. <sighs> Dude, wow, would I make a promise like that? Gerd and boy stuff to find these days. Huh? You shouldn't talk so big, stick man. Toma Coon could wipe your smirk right off your face real easy. Oh! Please let me, please. I've never wanted to fight somebody more in this game in my life, and that's that, that was and that was from last week when I was literally attacking people on the street to try and get some money. Like I effectively became a like a thug. Now, please let me punch his face in, or better yet, use my bat. Really? Because I wipe my butt with guys like Tomokun. Huh? Eh, you want to get it on? Cool, cool. You can be my personal errand boy. Then we'll have two. <laughs> <laughs> if you win, I'll run errands for you all over town. Bare naked, with a property of Tomokun tattoo. You, you're gonna regret talking crap! Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit him once, he's gonna go down, isn't he? I wish I could enjoy this, but I, it's gonna be a meme. Oh, he's actually kind of competent. I say that. Oh, he actually hit me. Oh, come on, that should hurt him. Not the most satisfying end to that fight. I was hoping to get like the fun alley, but he got through. So, what do you say about that making that promise? Or do you need more convincing? I will. I will. I promise. I will never make run make run errands again. I'm so sorry. Wait, Tomokun. <sighs> what about the movie? I, I don't know why it cut so quickly there. Ah, I managed to get him to stop abusing Aaron Kun's generosity, but do I tell him the truth? Hi. Hmm? Oh, hey. If it ain't Aaron Kun, you okay to be running again? Hi. Yes. A little rest was all I needed. But anyway, did you get that absorbent sheet to her? Uh. Yeah, I made a drop, but, mm -hmm. but, 
Come on, we gotta tell him. It's gonna break his heart, but it's better now than never. I hate saying this, but that woman actually has a boy. I know! What? You don't need to say anymore. I actually saw her walking around with this handsome looking guy the other day. She looks so happy, but I couldn't ask her about him. I was too afraid of learning the truth. And Coon. <sighs> Still, kind of rips your heart out to know for sure. Uh, maybe this is the reality check I needed. I'm not gonna run any more errands for her. My man! Good. That's for the best. Of course, who knows what'll happen when I fall for the next girl, but that's just the kind of guy I am. Nothing wrong with being the kind of guy a girl can depend on. But it's all about respect. If you both have equal share of it, then nothing can tear you apart. Oh, Majima! You're so freaking right! <laughs> Here's hoping the next lady you fall for treats you with the same love and care you got for her. Hi. Yes! I can't thank you enough. You gave me medicine, these sneakers, and you did so much more. Nah, it ain't much for the grand scheme of things. Yeah. No, no. That's simply not true. If I could only repay you for your kindness somehow... Mm. Don't sweat it. My needs are met. <laughs> if there's anything I can do, I'll be happy to do it for you. I'm willing to run anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you really got a thing for running. Hi. Yes. If there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh. Sure, you got it. Okay, I'll be going now. I'm going to be waiting for you at the uh, Stoughton Barty footpath. He eagerly looks forward to running errands for you. I wonder what kind of errands he runs. Like, I don't think I'd ever use them, but it would be kind of cool if, like, in a future mission, I, like, he's a potential, like, solution to a problem. Like, it'd be really neat for it to be dynamic that way, where, oh, you helped this guy in the past, like, now he's helping you with an actual quest. Well, that's something. Now, any more missions, or am I completely done with you? Have you been working on your bat techniques, Majima's on? I can teach you about the following weapons. Oh, he's got more. Kali sticks. You wish to learn the Kali sticks? Then we will train in the actual combat as you suggested, Majima son. Are you healthy, ready to fight? I'm ready. Uh. Let's do this. <laughs> Kali sticks consist of two short sticks. They are usually made from wood called rattan. Have you heard of the word Kali before, Majima san? Isn't it the god of goddess of death uh, in the uh, Hindu pantheon? No, nope, enlighten me. Hi. Kali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. It is their national sport. Oh, okay. The word Kali comes from the local language. The weapon spread throughout the United States, and the word sticks was added. I'll leave out the details, but their practicality has made them popular around the world. A weapon from the Philippines, huh? Who would have thought? But you really think they're world famous? Yeah. Yes. It is easy for a simple weapon such as these to take root. Mm. Well, maybe they're just taken off here in Japan, then. The only thing I see they use for two sticks are ta uh, taiko dummies. <laughs> <laughs> Do not underestimate their potential to cause harm. Uh. Sure. Let's get the show on the road, then. I look forward to getting you into another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our more powerful moves. All right, here I come. All right, boy. Oh yeah, they're just, oh, I've seen that actually. Yeah, they're just a bunch of, they're just a pair of freaking, oh my gosh. My recovery's too slow. Oh, he's so quick. Ah. That was closer than I like, but it was there. <laughs> yeah, it sticks loose. <laughs> well fought, Majima son. Then just return to the store. That was impressive, actually. I really like those. Those are cool. Hi. Excellent fight, Majima son. I attempted to shut down your offense with my own attacks, but I ended up being overpowered. You're really getting up in my face. Is that right? The way they use those things? I believe they are best used press the attack rather than defend. If you land enough blows, you could even stun opponents, making them ideal idle against swift bows. Uh. Uh huh. Got it. Thank you for visiting Dragon and Tiger. Okay, I need to go eat some food and then learn the last one. Let's do one last training mission. Have you been working on your butt tech, Spachima san? I can teach you about the following weapons Tonfa. <laughs> you wish to learn the Tonfa? 
Then we'll train in the actual combat, uh, in actual combat, like you suggest, Wanchmasan. You're healthy, you're ready to fight. I am absolutely ready. Uh. Yeah, I'm good. Then let us go outside. <laughs> Let's do it. The tonfa is a weapon from Okinawa. A set of two is generally used there, but I prefer to wield a single tonfa. Mm -hmm. Not two. You got a reason for that? You rebel? Yeah. It's more portable this way. In some countries, they even use them as police batons, so there's plenty of room to adapt them to different styles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the one with, like, the handle, and then like, it has, like, the cross guard almost. So, like, it sticks out here, but also goes down your arm. So it's, like, something you use, like, a, as a basher. So it's interesting. So, like, it's almost like a weapon that's, like, I would guess you would wield in a similar manner to, like, somebody who had a shield to bash with. But since a shield doesn't really do a whole lot anymore, like, it would, it would be way, way a lot and be slow for modern combat, it's kind of the more adapted version where it's like, look, we just need enough to kind of block a direct blow and then bash somebody. Again, I don't really know. I'm just guessing. I see. And you're going to show me these styles, huh? All the weapons I teach you, this is the easiest to wield and the most suited to one-on-one -on -one combat. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's skip the chat and hit the sticks, then. <laughs> I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using more powerful moves. All right, here I come. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I was right about the weapon. Oh my gosh, you can break my guard! Oh, that is gonna be a challenge. Yeah! That wasn't as bad as the last one, but that's because I could be more aggressive. <laughs> yeah! Bat beat stick. <laughs> An excellent performance. Majima-san, let's go back to the store. That was fun, though. I like these trainings. Hi. Fine work, Majima-san. Plan to bash my way through your defenses, but you staved off my attacks admirably. He did show me that my defenses were pretty much null. Huh, <laughs> it looked that easy, it wasn't. Your defenses were pretty inclined yourself. Actually, I don't know about that. The tonfa is held parallel to the arm, which makes blocking intuitive. You can defend at any time while maintaining your stance, so it offers a good balance of offense and defense. However, keep in mind that its range is limited. As I mentioned, it is best suited for single opponents, where you can maintain your stance against them. Oh. Got it. Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. Completed weapons training taunt. Now that I've learned it all, like, what does he say? I believe I have now shown you all the techniques I know. Oh. Yeah. So what are we, are we, So we're done here? Hi. Yes. It has been most rewarding seeing your bat technique in action. <laughs> it's nothing special. You remind me of the weapon we still have much, but still has weapons much potential to unlock, and for that you have my thanks. I hope you continue to visit Dragon and Tiger from time to time. Oh. You know it. I'll be seeing ya. <laughs> I look forward to it. I can even make you a meal next time if you like. Mm -hmm. Huh? A meal? Mm. Well, this is a restaurant, after all. Perhaps you had forgotten. Hello. So you? Yes, my husband cares, cares, cares about weapons only. He should think about cooking sometime. <laughs> Ew, <ugh. laughs> Don't fuss his chops too hard, Long Hyo. Long Hyo? Gotta stay though, I'm glad this place turned out to be more respectable than I thought. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You deal in weapons, right? Most of the time that means the back room's hot with criminal activity crap. But here, the only getting hot is the only thing getting hot is the Kung Pao chicken. <laughs> this is more of a curio shop, you could say. We don't sell arms to anyone looking to cause trouble. My only interest is in studying the virtues of fine weaponry. Uh. I can appreciate that. So, if you ever get in trouble, you know who to call. Ghost, but I mean no, Majima. That's gracious of you. <laughs> You'd be a good boy now, Majima-san. You know, if I were troubled by a ghost, Majima would also be someone I would consider calling. Yes, oh. Hey, calling who? Say, what's with the with you being fluent in Japanese anyway? Not a trace of the local Kansai dialect in you either. Yeah. I grew up in Tokyo. I got into this line of work after seeing the beauty of the katana on display in a museum there. Oh. Tokyo? Still doesn't explain why you always talk like you're giving a formal speech. Oh. I am afraid it is merely force of habit. Informal speech is something I've never gotten used to. Uh. No kidding. Oh, I was actually trying to eat something. Oh well. Bye guys. You know what? Maybe we should. We haven't done uh, uh, karaoke with Majima for a while. Let's go ahead and do that. Or disco club. <gasps> we haven't done disco. Let's go do disco. There's the guy. Oh, look at that hair. 
Hey there, wanna show off some sweet moves on the dance floor? Um, yeah, let's dance solo, because I don't know what the other option is. In fact, I do. Awesome! What song do you want me to put on for you? Um, I like that one, but. Let's do Disco Queen. Okay, here we go. I, I haven't done this minigame in a while, so I'm sure I'm going to be horrid. Let's do this thing. Oh, yeah. Woo! I wish I were as cool as Majima. Oh, I'm so bad. Trying to be too fancy with it now. I could be doing so much better. Oh, I keep forgetting that's part of the problem. I, every time I saw the X, I was hitting X on the PlayStation controller, but it was graphing Xbox controller. Well, I did okay. <sighs> well, that'll be enough for now. It was decent. Well, but... Eh. All right. No, okay, one more time. Let's do one more. We'll do a different song, but I'll do one more. All right, let's do this. Okay, remember, Xbox controller, Xbox controller, Xbox controller. Oh, I didn't see that other one. Ah, oh, I'm missing him. I'm sorry, everyone. I wish I was better for you. I'm choking! <laughs> yeah. 
That was terrible there. Ah, oh, I just got so overwhelmed. I'm sorry, everyone. I feel bad. I don't do them justice. Oh well, the music was good to listen to. Watching me melt is probably also kind of fun, but I wish I could be showing off like good moves and good music at the same time. Ah oh, well. Wait, where's the little kid? I know. Uh, excuse me. Mm hmm. What's up? This lady. Right, she's the wife of Ak Akatani, the guy who got his face altered. Have you seen my little boy here? He would have been alone. A little boy? You mean Yusu uh, Yusuke-kun? Yes, that's right. But how did you know that? Yeah. Uh, well, I actually got to be friends with your boy. I played with him the other day. Oh, I see. Have you seen Yus uh, Yus uh, Yusuke today? I, I, I don't know why I called him Yusuke. It's Yusuke. Um, I came to get him, but he's not here like he's supposed to be. That's terrifying. Man, it's amazing that you could even think that you could live in a world where you could just leave a child in a park next to where you work all day and it would be fine. Mm. Mm. Can't say I have. Oh. I found his ball just lying here. I'm positive that he was here earlier. Uh. That's worrying. I'll keep an eye out for him. Yes, please. I'll keep looking around here. Yusuke Kun's gone missing. I doubt he's gone far, though. If I spot him, I'll bring him back to his mom. Yeah, we better. That's terrifying. Okay, exclamation part. I'm hoping that's him. Hey. Hey there, Yusuke Kun. Your mom's looking for you. Mister. Something wrong? Some scary people came when I was playing in the park. Scary people? Oh, yeah. They tried to take me away, so I ran and came here. What? What were they like? They were big and scary. They kept calling me Akatani's brat. Akatani's brat? Akatani, the guy who got his face changed. They're on to him. Yusuke kun, your mom's waiting for you at the park. We gotta get you back to her. I'll keep you safe, alright? Oh, okay. That's real worrying. Why... Why would they still be after him? Oh, hello, Majima-san. Yusuke-kun, too. Akatane, have, have you seen your... I mean, Yusuke-kun's mom around here? Yeah. No, I haven't. I just got here myself. Is there a problem? Well, see... Oh, hello. No. Hey, Akatani! Who are you people? Oh. Oh no. Huh? Mom! Yusuke! Mm. You're famous for being a lone wolf. No ties, no weaknesses. Wasn't easy trying to find out how we could get to you. But our diligence paid off. After following you around, we noticed you talking a lot of interest in these two. Huh? Are you out of your mind? I don't know these people. <laughs> oh, then I won't bother you if we rough them up, huh? Mom! Stop! No family history. No friends or lovers. Kept yourself invulnerable. Stone cold snake. Who would have thought you'd have this chick chink in your armor? If you don't want to see this bee die, take that knife and kill yourself. Fetch, man! See? You keep doing what you're doing. Our business keeps taking hits and Ill uh, can ill afford. That said, if your word got out you dealt with you ourselves, it would complicate how we do business. So, let's settle this amicably. You go ahead and kill yourself. Then it's got nothing to do with us. See? Cool. What's wrong? It's a great two-for-one deal. You get to save both B and the brat in the future of returning your life. It doesn't get any better than that. You promise. No, you don't do that. Sure. Hey, this woman you say is gonna spare? Who might that be? <laughs> you let her go? <laughs> what? You got numbers, but take a hostage anyway. And you're too chicken to get blood on your own hands? Huh? That ain't the textbook definition of cowardly. And I'm rewriting the dictionary. 
Shit. We hope to keep this nice and clean, but that's not gonna ha be happening. When a job needs doing, I guess it's best just getting it done. Akatani, keep Yusuke Kun and his mom safe. Got it. Uh? Yeah, first, you meddling butthole. You're dead. Oh no. I think you find it. Oh, they have weapons. Oh, gun boy. Yo, you gotta go down. First, first, first. Get the gun. Get rid of the gun. Yes! I fought mug crabs more fiercely than you. And that's probably real, actually. <laughs> Pretty sure I have beat mug have fought mug crabs that were tougher on me. <coughs> oh! Right across the jaw. <coughs> mm. Excuse us. Ugh, you took us all alone. Dang. You boys seem to have a wrong impression, so let me set you straight. The lady and the kid are strangers to Akatani. That's a lie, and you know it. <laughs> if you don't want to believe me now, I suppose I'll have to do a better job of convincing you. Yeah, maybe permanently? I'll carry the way. You to your call. So make it. God, I believe you. I believe. Don't you ever touch an innocent civilian again. If you do, I will hunt you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Come on, you gotta go the whole way if you're doing a taken line. Got it. Never again. Mercy. Sure you can you sure can bring the menace out in your voice. Huh. <laughs> it's useful in my new line of work. Mom. Yusuke? No. Talk to him. Hi. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's all because of me. Well, you're the man who's always in the park. Yeah. I never show my face around you again. If you could please forgive me. Mister, thank you for protecting us from those bad people. Yuko, please take care of Yusuke. Wait a minute. Did she ever tell him her name? Pardon? Yusuke, from now on, you protect your mom. You got that? Yes. Okay. Take care. Najiba-san, here. This is for saving Yuko and Yusuke. You got a Sakura storm. Ooh. Sure about this? It don't feel right. With me around, my family will be in danger. This is how it has to be. Mom, that man, is he... Hmm? Hmm? Yusuke, do you know him? No, but... Mister! Aww. He even always called him dad. Let's play catch again sometime. <laughs> what a crappy situation, though. Man with a stranger's face and... Good grief, right in the feels. <sighs> uh, with that, we gotta move on. All right, Makoto, we gotta have a chat. Otonashkushitotaka. Rizan, what was it? He's fine. Bujia. I saw it pass in your hands. You got it. 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 Excuse me. But it's not just that. You heard all the stories? Yes. Dang. You've been a long time ago, you know? No. You're still alive. Sorry, 
Small comfort. Soul. The guitar is great. さしたな。少しやけど俺もお前に似たとこがあるんや。いや、いや、で、俺は片っぽだけやが目が見え。それだけやない。いつ死んでもおかしない場所で俺も長いこと監禁されとった。お前に比べたら天国みたいなもんやるけどな。俺には片目残っとった。お前より大変な話。こんなん言うても慰めにならんか。No, <笑> あ、そんなんや。帰って余計なこと言うたな。ああ、せや。腹減ったんとちゃうかなあ。夢から何も食うとらんもんな。大丈夫。<笑><笑> That's a lie. You're far from fine. あほ、大丈夫なわけないやろが。腹減っとるからそんな落ち込むんや。元気ない時は空に限るで。な。すぐ食うもん買うてきたる。なんか欲しいもんあるか。Takayaki. Good classic. Wish I could have some someday. Not really gonna happen though. Oh, and I thought dealing with professional women was rough. Well, let's get her some food for now. She said she wanted takoyaki. I don't like how it seems to be going smoothly, but we're also actively leaving to go get some food. Something's gonna go down. Oh, hang on, there. What's going on down here? Huh? Get real, you leech! Huh? Hmm? What's all this then? Screw you, little sales tax! You want us to pay a tax every time we buy something? You bloodsuckers! You'll bleed the whole country dry! Man, it does sound kind of crappy. Did they not have sales tax until the 80s? I understand. Your anger is justified. But it's a necessary evil for the sake of the nation's people. Huh? Get stuffed! You gotta pay, pay sales tax on a fancy suit that you're wearing, you darn bird cat! Tax is only made to keep the common people down. Yeah, you vulture. The younger guy sure taking some heat over some kind of tax issue? Guess it's my lucky day to run a son of a bee bureaucrat trying to spring a sales tax on us all alone in a back alley, no less. Eh? I don't like your tone, sir. I represent the voice of the general populace, and I'm here to tell you, we're effing pissed. Yeah, why don't you give a little taste of public opinion? Then you'll know what depression feels like. Please, cal calm down. Violence isn't the answer. Don't do this. <sighs> uh oh, this pot's about to boil over. Please, calm down. Huh? Shut it, but all. Hey, fellas, let's tone it down a little. No sense ganging up on one guy. Have a little pride, huh? What? You don't know the thing of a cockroach is, do you? It's the pencil-pushing dickwad who came up with these sales tax. Mm -hmm. Sales tax? What? Don't you watch the news? It's a new tax they're going to start charging next year. Every time you buy something, 
they're going to charge you 30% more as tax. Isn't that ridiculous? Oh my gosh, I wish sales tax were only 3%. Ha! Oh, I grew up with 6%, and where I currently live, it's more like 8%. 3% is nothing. But apparently they didn't even have that until this point. What? what? That is some bull crap. This guy's a douchebag? That's highway robbery. Uh -huh. Whoa, I thought I lost it for a second there. <sighs> Listen, guys, I totally understand why I'd piss you off, but beating this guy to a pulp isn't going to make the sales tax go away, is it? Huh? Who gives a crap? The government needs to know what the people are thinking. Their crap, their crap policies are, are, are in the way they understand. Direct action. Yeah, power to the people. If you ain't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Only the Sith feel an absolute furious man. You want to stick up for the mosquito? Then we'll show you the power of the masses, too. <sighs> oh, what are you really after? Is blowing off steam? Sure, let's see how far that gets with me. Yeah, with me. Prepare for the revolution! Viva la revolution! I've got fun, boys. I have a bat. No, you don't. Say hello to the taxpayer for me. Go and vote for the politicians to support. Violence is never the answer. An insurrection only makes things worse. Unless you're literally being threatened with your life. I'm sorry. I was out of line. What happened again? <sighs> Uh, public outrage sure fizzles fast. I know. Thank you for stepping in. Those people were out for blood. I'm uh, Tayo Amosuzato. Tayo, as in the sun, if I may. Can I buy you a drink as thanks? <laughs> That's a good name. I'm Machima. No need for any thanks, though. Yeah. Oh, no, I absolutely insist. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you, though. You some kind of politician big shot? Well, I don't have much in the way of rank or power, but I am in a position to help steer the country. I came to uh, Sultan Bori for a, con a conference on taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to face the public about it. You're still driving a tank called the go you're, you're driving a tank called the government. Even your careful people are going to be pissed about what you steamroll them. But you're trying to make things this country make this country a better place to live, right? You got to take some pride in that. Do you think so? I knew people would be unhappy with the new tax, but only a logical level. When I saw how emotional they got about it, well, it was daunting. They find out that the sales tax is only the tip of the iceberg, and, there's, and there are more taxes on the way. I hate to think how people will react. What? More tax on top of the sales tax? Hey. Right. Nothing set in stone yet, but we're considering making more effective ways of generating revenue streams. In fact, at tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some of those proposals. That's so. Well, I guess with everyone making such good money these days, you can't fault the government for wanting to get their hands on the pie. Yeah. Yes, but as you've seen firsthand, we have to consider public opinion. I wonder if I can really come up with a tax policy that everyone could live with. Uh, I don't know. One that actually does work in scalable manner is, is scalable taxing based on the things that people make the most money off of which is excessive wealth, inheritance, and property. There's a lot of debate that goes up about that, and I definitely don't think I agree with any side when it comes to it. I think they're both crazy, honestly. But I do think that there's a great argument to be made about the majority of the burden of the, of the government's like ne fiscal needs rel uh, go on to those who have excess. If you look at it from the perspective of like those who have an excess, don't even if you take a bigger portion, it does not make it so that they're less successful or less able to take care of themselves and their businesses. Often you're just making it so that they're a little slowed in their rise to the top. And in turn, it helps support the people who are struggling at the bottom who are the foundation of those said businesses that let them be successful to begin with. It can be politicized too much, in my opinion, which is where you weaponize tax law to gain votes rather than actual trying to make the budget makes sense, which frankly, I think it should be two different things, but you know, you gotta win votes in democracy. That means you effectively have to buy off the people and the companies also want to buy you off and it just, it's a mess, but it's a, it's a, it's a better mess than what we would have otherwise. 
wish there were a better solution, but unless we're going to go down the route of living in Star Trek like future, I just it, I don't know what the answers are. I definitely don't want to say I got do. I just want to I, I guess my overall tone is just simply the fact that taxes skewed towards the wealthy tend to make better balancing sheets because the government gets more money and the people who are most affected aren't actually all that affected. Sure, it affects bottom lines, and that can be effect that can interfere with businesses per se. But I doubt it's ever going like, to be to the point. It should never be to the point where it really like diminishes like the business's prospects. But at the same time, it should be much higher than the common people, because the common people shouldn't be paying them like so much of what they have, like at a detriment to their own livelihood and the livelihood of, and like stability of the, their children and like the the, the common person. It should be distributed unevenly in a way that's logical. Like the like, in despite the flaws, there is the current tax system, at least in the United States, makes a lot of sense. And in practicality, in a majority of times, it is doing the right thing and doing it in a very proper way. I don't feel like when I was on the like on my in my most destitute state, I didn't feel like I was being taxed unfairly. In fact, I often got all my tax money that I paid throughout my paychecks right back as a way to kind of help stimulate the lifestyle of those who are struggling. So I'm happy now that things are a lot more stable to pay that tax and, you know, pay it proper. And if I ever became super rich or successful, I'd be totally fine with paying higher taxes. Would it be kind of annoying? Sure. But in the grand scheme of things, if it means I'm supporting and helping people who need it, I'm fine with it. And if it means the government can still function, building roads, bridges, trains, and just the things that make life like functional in modern society, like infrastructure wise, absolutely. War, that's a tougher one. I don't like how much the budget goes to war, but I have to admit that when times start getting scary and things like when Russia starts firing off doing their crap, it's nice to know that at least we got like some reserves in the pocket. So like maybe there was a point to it all. Anyway, enough about that politics there. Good luck with that. Even if they're throwing cash into the fireplace, nobody wants the government to hold out its hand. <sighs> yeah, that's where I'm stuck. I haven't found the right balance, and I'm a little lost at the moment. Well, I can't say I understand a lick of what you're trying to do. But take care of the country for us, alright? Okay. Wait, Majima-san, can you help me just once more? Mm -hmm. Huh? You got another mob waiting to start, start stringing you up? Yeah. Oh no, not that. I want to get your views on taxation. What? I know next to nothing about the subject of taxes. That's why you're perfect. You see, I just had this idea. Perhaps someone who's completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely different perspective. You think? Please, much of a son. It's no exaggeration. The fact, the fate of this country rests on your shoulders. Will you please give me advice on taxation policy? Cool. The uninformed decision is the one that's going to hinge on the, the, the country. That can't go wrong. Sure, why not? Okay, okay. You win. Let's talk some taxes. Thank you. Your insight will be invaluable. But this is hardly the place for it. Can we go somewhere with more appropriate? Sure. Lead the way. Didn't expect this tangent. Now, you better keep in mind, I don't know the first thing about taxes policies, and don't expect much from me. Eh. Hey. No, that's exactly why I asked you. I know you'll have some unique insights, not bound by typical convention. So you're basically hoping to strike gold in a copper mine. Well, let's just make sure you're not completely in the dark with the basic question. Sure. Majima-san, do you know why the government collects taxes from the people? To keep the people down? No. To provide public services? Yes. It's for providing public services, right? Roads, bridges, all that. Ah, yes. That's exactly right. I'm sorry for asking such a basic question. Just as you said, Majima-san, taxes are collected mainly for the providing public services. Education, medical care, the, pol the police, fire departments, and so much more are paid for by taxes. They pay for services that people need to survive. Yeah, we gotta build roads and bridges and keep them working order, right? But there's more to it than that. Hi. Exactly. They also serve other purposes as it pertains to general wealth, but we don't need to get into that much detail. Like I said, there's a whole lot I don't know. <laughs> oh, but aren't you interested in where your money goes? It's always good to know more about taxes. Yeah, I'm getting proper schooling here. Okay, let's shift to the main theme. Majima-san, if you were in the position of collecting taxes from the people, what would, who, what would you tax? Hmm. <laughs> Sato-san? Wait, like... 
Is that him? Like, tax him? I don't know what Sato-san is. Tobacco, adult entertainment. I wouldn't necessarily tax adult entertainment. While it's a lucrative business, I don't think they're real in the dough. Tobacco is an interesting one because it's addictive, so you know a lot of people are using it, and it's bad for the public health. So it's actually decent to kind of put pressure on them. But I don't know. What's Sato-san? I'm gonna go tobacco. Why not charge tax on tobacco? Tobacco, you say? Interesting. Since the government monopoly on tobacco products ended three years ago, there actually has been a small tax on tobacco products. Yeah, I smoke myself, so I don't really want to pay tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. And if you're gonna jack up taxes, it's the non-essential stuff that you start with. People might even be more likely to understand a tax on smokes, right? I see. Tobacco tax. Yeah. Yeah, a uh, pack around uh, 2, 000, uh, 200 yen. People will be in moan, but I think it'll still fork over 300. I see. Interesting. Uh, 400 mark, though? I think you'd have a long, hard think about each part, be, what, about each pack being worth it. <laughs> yes, I think that point is good. I'd consider cutting back on my intake, too. And what about 500 pack? I'd probably quit. Cold turkey. You quit at 50. What if we raise it incrementally? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Started muttering all of a sudden. Yeah, the whole frog in the boil pot of cold water slowly being brought to a boil. Mm. But what else do you think we would have potential for taxation? I think something that's closely tied to everyday living would have the best potential. Mm. A tax tied to everyday living, huh? That's kind of what the sales tax is. Pretty shrewd. <laughs> Air? No. Pets? Gasoline? <sighs> I don't like it, but gasoline's the right answer. How about jacking up the tax on gasoline? Ah, gasoline tax. Yeah. Why not? People with cars are obviously living it up here. Why not skim a little more off the top? The price of gas is dependent on the cost of petroleum, so people have experienced to hike price hikes before. They should be used to price creep, actually. There's also a provisional tariff on gas tax. Yes. There's certainly room to raise taxes without too much notice. This is actually getting kind of scary. What? Hey, what's with all the muttering? You're not feeling that one either? Yeah. Oh, no. Far from it. I think it's a fantastic idea. I will definitely follow up on it. Oh, good to hear. Majima-san, anything else? Do you have anything else to say on the matter of taxation? <clears throat> anything else about taxation? Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Well, I was thinking about the sales tax thing Goofballs were riled up about. Mm -hmm. Yes. So next year, we gotta start paying 3% on top of everything we buy, right? Eh. Hey. Yes, that's how it works. Well, why stop at 3%? Sure, you could go into in, in at that rate, but wouldn't you get more if you bumped it up? Eh? That would be impossible. Majima son, you saw what happened. Just the 3% tax caused so much outrage, people wanted to tear me apart. To charge more, it probably ended an open revolt. Yeah. No, no. Tayo chan, you ain't thinking. People are pissed because you're spraying the new thing on them, and you had to turtle up. You gotta think about the long game. The long game. Fam familiarity is a scary thing, my friend. Sure, people are bitching and moaning about the shiny new tax, but once it becomes a regular part of life, they'll move on to the next thing to, to bitch and moan about. And that's when you start gradually turning the screws. This is getting really meta. Every time you hike it up a little, you'll get some more blubbering. But they won't be screaming bloody murder like the first time you introduced the tax. Well, you know why? Because they'll be used to getting screwed. Something they've already accepted gets a little worse. It's just the, fa it's just the facts of life that they're uh, doing what they do. So if you want to pull up the cash, you got to have a plan to really amp up the sales tax. Ajiba san, I'm getting goosebumps. And I think you're terrifying, actually. I agree. Are you even on this earth? <laughs> you really want to know? Eh? No, not really. Then if sales tax were to be raised, how high do you think it should go? How high should it go, huh? You're starting at 3%, right? Let me see here. Not that one. That one seems cruel. I would just, like, this is probably the right answer, but I would say 5. Yeah. Maybe around 5%? I see, 5%. Yes, considering the burden it represents to the people, that sounds appropriate. But I get the feeling that would be only be a temporary solution. That's so? I'm just thinking what I'd be comfortable with personally. I'd be pretty pissed if I went higher. Mm. Maybe if we went from the initial three up to the five, waited a little longer, and then hiked it up to the proposed eight, then eventually we'd... Good. Enough with the muttering under your breath, Tayo-chan. Uh, Tayo oh, sorry. I was lost in my thoughts. Majima-san, a 
I'm so glad I took the time to speak with you. You're a wealth of ideas. Yeah? Glad I was useful. Useful doesn't begin to describe it. Please, take this in just a token my thanks. You got some ash wood. Okay, I better get going. I need to get back to the hotel and prepare my presentation for the tax conference tomorrow. Atta boy. Do you ca do you catch you proud, you hear? Hi. Will do, Majima-san. I'll make sure to work in your advice. See you. And thus, Japan's fate was changed forever. Ooh, I never figured I'd be in a position to give a guy in the business running, of running a country advice. Tio uh, chan seems to be getting a handle on how things do about, go about jacking up prices, too. Good for him. Wait, jacking up taxes? Did I just... If taxes go up, isn't it my fault? Nah, no way. Oh, Majima. Hello. Hey, buddy. I'm, I'm the telephone card collector. Got any cards I can see? Just want to look at them. Oh. I used to collect cards myself after seeing a card for the first time. I just kind of lost all interest in it. That's why I don't mind just admiring someone else's collection. I make you a pretty odd collector, don't you? Why don't you just drop the hobby? No, I can get give it up. I could go on living without re re living in telephone, uh, reveling in the telephone card collections. I, I need them. Each his own. Fine. I don't mind showing you my cards. Oh. Don't bother with incomplete sets, though, yeah? Only full three-card sets will really do it for me. There's three-card sets? You know how cards got A, B, or C on them? It's because there's three different cards for each girl. When you complete a set, come and show me. You're a picky guy, ain't you? Wait, that's... That says Kiryu! We're not Kiryu! You're a picky guy, ain't you? But fine, I'll swing by and show you if I got it with a set. What the fetch was that?! No, no. That ab uh, what is going on? That absolutely said kid to you. You don't show me Yeah, perfect timing. Just made a French batch. Get them while they're hot. Takoyaki. Piping hot takoyaki. They're the octopus balls, right? Oh, I bet that's so good. Cause that's the thing. My, my, like, I like calamari and octopus, but the trouble I always get is the texture. <clears throat> it's not prepared right. It just gets so chewy and it can become nah. All right now, run! We gotta get there quickly before it gets cold. Um, but then uh, when it's like minced up like that and mixed in with a bunch of other flavors, it's just perfect. I've never had like proper takoyaki, but I really want to like try it because it looks perfect. It looks exactly like what I want from a takoyaki. Oh, fetch me! Sorry, son. You're on the way. All right, got some smoking hot takoyaki. Hopefully, it'll help calm her down a little. If she's not here, I'm gonna flip my lid. Okay, she's here. Oh, takoyaki. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> でも、お腹空いた。いや。それでいいや。人間腹に物を入れんと力がね。待っとけ。今食わしたるわ。Good, good, good. Ah. あの。I mean, we got her story. We probably should tell her ours. ああ。俺の場合は怪我っていうかな。事故みたいなもんでもう完全に潰れてもうだ。そんな うん。な。あ、僕。お前の方が<笑> Oh, Naruto. So, I'm going to 
せいぜい男前が台無しになっただけ<笑>男前なんだ目が揃っとったらなお店できんのが残念やでほんま<笑> <You can't. 笑>残念 Kinda can, but yeah. 少しは笑えるようになったが<笑>うん何やお前時計しとるんかえ、うん、見えへんのにけったいなやっちゃ<笑>まあねでもかわいいでしょ Interesting. It's really、big. せやから見えへんのやろうチュートリアルがまったく。分かってるよでもねこれオルゴールの曲がなるのそれもかわいくて、oh, cool, ね、それもかわいくて今はならないそれもかわいくてそれもかわいくてそれもかわいくてそれもかわいくてそもかわいくてそれもかわいくれもかわいくて他人から見れば全く意味がないけど自分にとってはなんだかすごく大切っていうか目が見えなくなって時間もわからなくなって時計も壊れて音も出なくなってだからわかってるよそんなもの必要ないってでも私がまだ元気だった頃の証なのそれを捨てちゃったら私は本当にお前でもまたあのオルゴールの音聞いてみたいわかるでえ捨てられんかったらもっとらええもっとらきっといつかええことある It's cool. 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 It's c o o 感謝してるそうやないお前が必要やと思うんやったら必要ないや本当にそう思うんやって<笑>大丈夫私強くなる強くならなきゃえいんはあ Let's get it fixed man come on I want to fix it せやまだ言うとらんかったけどなリノさんは何ややることがある言うとったわそれが済んだらここに迎えに来させるそれまでもう少しの辛抱や<笑>どこか行くの<笑>そろそろ仕事の時間だ<笑>ゲズメンサガワって名前に聞き覚えあるか近江連合の極度へ知らない、うん、そうかサガワも誰かに頼まれただけかもしれんなけどなんでお前みたいなんが極度に狙われるんや That's the question. そのサガワって人に脅されてるのいや、似たようなもんやな。けど、俺はお前を殺すことで褒美をもらえることになっとった。登場会に戻れるっちゅうな。登場会あや、お前は知らんで英語で。じゃあ、もしこのまま私を殺さずにいたら、あなたはそのヤクザに殺されるのうん。大丈夫や。リーノさんのや考えがある言うとった。<笑>うまくいったらお前も俺も
もう殺されんで済むっちゅう話本当にお前んとこの店長やろ信じたれやほな仕事が終わったらまた来るでええなうん。Hmm, maybe I'll drop by the Cabaret Club like Yakim-、uh, Yamagata Han suggested on my way to check in on the Grand. Might even see one of、uh, Hogan,、uh, Hogan G.、Uh, Yokocho area. Maybe it's worth a check. I did not say that right. I'm getting tired. I actually think we're going to be ending it here. Like, I'm just going to go and save real quick. But I guess. Oh, no. They're going around that way. Come here, boyos. Oh, they gave up. <laughs> This is where we're going to end for today. I think there's a lot going on, but I think we've done、uh, a good amount, and I'm curious to see like, what the next kind of cascade of events is going to lead into. So we're going to kind of pause here. I'm just glad I got to record again. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful that you spent the time here, that you even came around, and that you're enjoying this series as much as I am. Like, I know some of you are so thrilled to see me playing this game, and I now see why. It's fantastic. Gonna be kind of tough getting back into swing of things, but I'm excited to do so. So keep an eye out for all the other videos that are coming out this week. It should be back to normal schedule. I'm mostly doing better. Got a few coughs, a few sniffles, but I'm punching through, and every day I feel like I get a little better. So I'm on the right track. But, you know, it's how things play out. So let's see how things like orchestrate themselves, and, you know, we'll, we'll kind of get the vibe, and hopefully Majin will find himself in something more stable. I have a feeling that exit strategy, though, is gonna be it. Nightmare. So we'll buckle up for that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for joining me on the channel, especially the patrons. I owe you guys a lot.、Um, I'm behind my schedule on my patron cast. It's kind of the thing I offer to the patrons in the background. It's just kind of like a look behind the scenes. But things have been so chaotic lately with like health and sickness and、uh, just other stuff going on. I haven't been able to do it, but I'm going to commit to making sure that I do it this week.、Um, so please keep an eye out for that if you're a patron. If you ever consider Patreon, like, It'd be a great way to support me directly and help, make, help it so I can continue making content like this. But, like, you know, that's up to you. So I don't really care. As long as you're happy and enjoying the content, that's really all that matters to me. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And until the next video, watch me up and see me in next. I'll see you there.